Okay, uh, Lynn, we have some more breaking developments from Germany. This is in two parts. One is following uh, Helga's call earlier, uh, an article broke in Handelsblatt. And what the Handelsblatt article indicates is that what Merkel agreed to was not only to bail out, uh, not only to underwrite the, the bailout of, of Greece, but that in fact what they are going to do is establish a fund which Germany will be the sole financer of uh, to bail out everybody. Um, that they would not announce the details uh, of this scheme until after the North Rhine-Westphalia elections, but again, that they want it they do want to announce it before the opening of the, of the markets. Uh, this comes at the same time uh, that the German Constitutional Court, which I believe issued its, its uh, decision before, before this story broke, uh, but the, the uh, Supreme Court in Germany has rejected the urgency pe uh, petition of the four professors uh, who had filed for a temporary restraining order against the bailout. The court responded by saying that if the, if the petition was dealt with now in detail, then it would endanger the entire bailout program. Uh, so in fact, it seems that extraordinary pressure is being applied all around. Uh, not only to expedite what is an insane bailout that is unlikely to work, but which could very well result in the utter destruction of the German economy. Uh, and again, Lynn, your comments are asked for. Okay, there's only one thing to do with this thing. Obviously, the, Brit the operation in Germany is British run. It's totally, entirely run from London. It's not a German policy, it's a British policy. Now, what we do is we, in the United States, mobilize the extreme to the, this reform which we're pushing, back to Glass-Steagall. The Glass-Steagall reform will crash the British system. When we have crashed the British system by, by reestablishing the, uh, the Glass-Steagall establishment, by doing that, we're going to create a situation where the British will no longer be able to impose these things. If you go into Germany now, and you try to find a solution which can be worked out from inside Germany per se, you're not going to succeed. You have to have an outside, you have to have a, a global factor. This is a global empire we're dealing with. The British Empire is a global empire. We are the only nation which is capable at this point of destroying that global empire. We require, of course, cooperation with China, which under right conditions we will get. Under right conditions, we'll get Russia's cooperation and other nations. We can have cooperation from, well, I could name uh, Iran, for example. These countries are looking for cooperation with the United States, and we're not giving to them. If we push this, which admittedly Obama will fight to the death, if we do that, we can break this up. You have to think strategically, not in terms of specific medicine for specific symptoms. You have to get to the, thru uh, the thrust of the disease itself. And the way to do that is go with this Glass-Steagall reform now. Push it through ruthlessly. We seem to, and, and on, on these other cases, as she mentioned, uh, that if we do it, we can win. The potential is there. But we have to do it. We have to insist that everybody goes and supports this, as far as we're concerned. Every patriotic American will support this class legal reform. If they don't do it, if they're not full bent on doing it, then they're not really patriots. Because we need this strategically to save the United States. We need this to save the world. If we are saved by this action, we will save the world. As poor and miserable as we are, as a factor in world history when the other side is much poorer than we are in terms of resources and capability. We can win. So let's go out there and win. 
and beat these bastards.